consider the density curve plotted below. Okay, now it's called a density curve. Uh, notice that it is labeled PDF, probability distribution function. Some textbooks will call these probability density functions. That's okay, it's the same thing. Now, uh, let's look at this as um, something we can use to answer these questions. So the probability that x is less than 4. Okay, now the area underneath the PDF curve for a distribution is how we define probability. So I'm looking for the area under the curve where x is less than 4. So x is equal to 4 right here. The area where x is less than 4 is going to be this region right through here. So I want the area of that region. Well, the area of that region is a triangle. And for any triangle, the area is defined as 1 half of its base times its height. And that might not be a formula that you know right off the top of your head. That's fine. It's something you can look up. So all we need to do is figure out what the base and the height of this triangle are. So the base is this distance here, which would be 4 minus 0, which is 4. And then the height is going to be this distance here. And that height is going to be uh, 0.08 minus 0, or I'll just say 0 0.08. OK, so we have the base and the height. So the probability is the area, which is going to be 1 half of the base times the height. And in order to solve that, I will just grab a calculator. So 0.5 times 4 times 0 0.08. That gives me 0.16. That's the total area of that triangle, and therefore the area of the, or the probability for that region. Next up, we have the probability that x is greater than 6. So 6 here is located right there. And this isn't just going to go on forever. The stopping point is at 10, right? So I really want to find the area under the curve between 6 and 10, because 10 is just the maximum. So I want this area of this region right here. And that's a bit more of a complex region, because it's more of a trapezoid rather than a triangle. But that's OK. Uh, you can look up the area of a trapezoid if you like. Uh, or you can do something like just split it into two subregions. This one is going to be a triangle, and this one's going to be a rectangle. And just use formulas that you know from those. However you want to treat that is perfectly fine. Uh, I'm going to use the two smaller subregions, and I'll say that the area total is going to be a1 plus a2, uh, a1 being a triangular region, we would do one half of the base. And again, the base here is going to be 6 minus 10, or actually, that way I don't have to use absolute value. I'll do 10 minus 6 and say positive 4. And then the height of the triangle. The height of the triangle here is going to be the upper part here, which is at 0.2, minus the lower uh, bound of the triangle, which is 0.12. So subtracting, that gives me 0.08. And it turns out that that's the same size triangle as we just calculated. So I'll just take advantage of that. That's 0.16. OK, but I still need to add in the area of the rectangle. The rectangle is base times height. So the base of the rectangle is 4, same as the triangle. The height of the rectangle, and I've got lines going all over the place here calculating these things, but it goes from 0.12, that's the upper bound, down to a lower bound of 0. So it's really just 0.12, so I'll just use that. So 0.12. 
and let's calculate 4 times 0 0.12, that is 0.48. So the sum between these two things, 0.48 and 0.16, is 0.64. And that's going to be the probability of the green region, which is the overall probability we're looking for.